What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I want to talk to you guys about getting on my Xbox friends list and how you can play with me, because I've been getting a lot of messages and comments asking about that. But before we get into that, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know what's going to be going on with me and the channel for the next three or so weeks. So as many of you longtime subscribers know, I run a small marketing business from home, and this is how I'm able to put so much time and effort into my videos on the side. And even though the business has been going great, a three week job opportunity has come up for me and it pays really well so I'm going to be doing that to give me a little financial boost. What does this mean for you guys and for the channel? Not a whole lot actually. I'm still planning on keeping my steady stream of one video every two days just like I have been for the past, I don't know, six or seven months now. But I may miss a day or two so if I do miss a day or two I'm not slacking off or anything. I'll just be completely overwhelmed with what's going on at the time. Because with this job, I'll be working 12 to 16 hour days, 6 to 7 days a week. And I also still have my business to maintain, and I have a girlfriend and family to spend time with, so I won't have as much time to put into YouTube just for this 3 weeks or the rest of the month, basically. So you can expect pretty much the same amount of content from me, but I won't be quite as active on YouTube or Xbox for this next month. So I really hope you guys understand this, and it is just temporary. I will be back to my normal self as soon as this job is over. Alright, so now let's talk about getting on my Xbox friends list. I've been getting quite a few comments and messages asking about this, so I just thought I'd address it. I do still have some space on my friends list, and I will accept friend requests from you guys until it's full. So just make sure you send me a message along with the friend request saying that you're a subscriber or that you came from YouTube, because I don't accept random friend requests. I don't care about your age or your stats or anything like that. My only request for you guys is that if you're on my friends list, please don't spam me with invites or messages. I still like to play solo a lot of the time, so sometimes I'm just not in the mood to party up with anyone. Or sometimes I'm recording something and uh, I just can't accept at the time. So I don't mind if you send me one invite and I do want to play with you guys fairly often now. So don't be afraid to, but if I don't accept it the first time, please don't take it personally and please don't spam me with, with more invites. If I want to play with you guys and you send me an invite but I can't play at the time, then I'll send you an invite uh, when I get a chance. And another thing with being on my friends list is please don't join my session. Um, maybe I'm recording for something or I'm trying to complete a challenge and it's just, it can be really frustrating if somebody who I know joins and wants to just mess with me or troll me basically. And if you guys do join in session, I will have to delete you from the friends list just because I I take YouTube pretty seriously, I take gaming pretty seriously, and when someone just jumps into my game and ruins things like that, it can be really frustrating, so please don't join session. Also, if you're really inactive or you just never play the same games or you're never online when I'm online, please don't be offended if I delete you. It's just sort of pointless to have someone on your friends list that you'll never really connect with in any way, and I want to keep adding new people every once in a while so that I can connect with them as well. So that's how you guys can get on my friends list and how you can play on Xbox with me. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten Black Ops 2 for PS3 yet, so I uh, I won't be accepting any friend requests on there right now, but as soon as I eventually get Black Ops 2 for the PS3, I will make another video like this, and you guys can add me on there, and I'll play on there every once in a while as well. The reason I haven't gotten Black Ops 2 for PS3 yet is that even used copies right now at GameStop or EB Games are like $55, which is just ridiculous when you can get a new copy for 60 bucks. So I'm just waiting for the price to come down a little bit. Once it gets down to like 40, 45 bucks, then I'll be willing to buy that, but I'm just not willing to spend $55 on a pre-owned game and I'm not willing to buy a new copy of Black Ops 2 for PS3 yet. All right, so that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about today and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys next time.